Picks and parlays. We're back with a, another group of five free betting picks for you. We're going to have four directly off uh, from me, and we're going to have one off the consensus report. Of course, as always, don't forget, it's Wednesday, March 10th. It's March Madness. It's finally here. Uh, we've got the ACC kicking in uh, second day today, Big East kicking in first day today. Um, I believe Big Ten and um, Pac-12, of course, first day as well. So, And, of course, all these other conferences finishing, wrapping up there. So, uh, important day in sports as we start to build the bankroll for huge March Madness. A week from Friday is opening day of the tournament. So make sure if you haven't done so, get that uh, thumbs up going. And of course, put in the comments who you like. Uh, Ninja, first one in today, Ninja. Good job. Uh, good morning. And uh, of course, got some noon Eastern Standard Time games. I'm going to give a bonus pick on that late. Don't have an official play on that uh, early game in the ACC, but uh, I'm going to at least give what I'm going to be betting um, as we look at that game live together. Like I said, Wednesday, March 10th. Don't forget, as always, hit that thumbs up and put in the comments. We're going to kick it off in the Big East. Marquette versus Georgetown. Two teams that have been red hot. I mean, if you follow these teams early in the year, very disappointing, both of them. Uh, but since then, both of them have been playing pretty well. Marquette maybe a little better. Uh, as of the last four or five games. I mean, they did had that huge win at North Carolina in blowout fashion. But, you know, Georgetown, if you go back 10 games, actually a little hotter, especially against the spread. Six and four straight up, seven and three against the spread. They beat a lot of the same teams in the Big East um, recently. So Georgetown's had some impressive wins. We see Marquette favored by three, total 144. I just think it's going to be a really close game. So I think getting the points, I think I could see Marquette win but not cover. So let's take Georgetown plus the three here. Uh, remember, this is an early game, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so don't wait in on that. Then we got tons of other early action up, including Miami Clemson going at 2.30 and uh, NC State Syracuse, which I'm going to give a bonus play on that NC State and Syracuse game. So make sure some of the big conferences going early today get in on all that action. You can check out all of our stuff over at Picks and Parlays, get all your best bets. You can get my best bet. We'll talk about that in a second after this next play. Kansas State at TCU. And... Uh, Sometimes you have to bet early in these conferences, of course, the opening day of the Big 12 conference here. And sometimes you have to bet some of the teams that you maybe haven't bet much this year. And that would be the case. We've faded Kansas State a lot this year. Uh, Kansas State versus TSC, TCU. TCU opened at three. Now it's at, uh, I still see some threes out there. We'll still call it three in a total 128. I just think TCU is the clearly better team. You know, the one th I will say, Jamie Dix has been a little disappointing since coming over from uh, to his alma mater at TCU. He, you know, Pitt, he had, I mean, he had some really, really good teams there. Um, hasn't been, he's had some decent teams at TCU, but he, I just figured by now he would have a, a more solid foundation for this program. But I do think he gets a win here to open the um, Big 12 tournament for him and Kansas State. I like TCU minus three in that one. And that's a four star play. So uh, Georgetown was four star play as well, if I didn't say so. So don't forget, as always, if you want my overall best bet, picksandparlays.net backslash Craig. Not the day we won it yesterday. We haven't had three straight losing best bet winners in almost a month. Going back uh, 21 days, I believe, 22 days, we were 15 and 6 going into yesterday. So now we're 15 and 7. So still a hot run, but uh, man, not what we wanted. But today I have one best bet winner. Uh, just spent the extra time. I got the lucky pen out. I, I pulled out all the stops to get off of the schneid. Picksandparlays.net backslash Craig. That best bet is just $14.99. That's $25 off only if you use that link, if you type it in, or if you click the uh, uh, description of at YouTube and Facebook, you can find the link there as well. And then if you'd rather purchase a weekly pass, you don't have to purchase every day, just 89 bucks for a weekly pass. We also have a at that same link, a deal for two-for-one experts, March Madness. So you get all the college basketball plays from now and whenever you buy it until the national championship game. So you can get my plays and Sean Higgs and my plays and Scott, my plays and Chips, whoever you like, or just any of the other two experts. You choose the two. So make sure you check that out. The link is in the description. All right, so we go to the NBA. The NBA's back. Thank goodness. All-star break. I can't stand the all-star break. I'm just going to go out there and let I know they need it, but uh, – I always think if they give half the teams, uh, you know, a couple of days off early and half the teams off after the All-Star game, they could shorten this where it would only be a couple of days, maybe two days, three days um, would be, I think, better for us better and better for the sport. But 
Who listens to me? Four and a half star player. Wizards at the Grizzlies. 237 is the total. Grizzlies favored by three and a half. Two teams that I've bet a lot this year, both for and against, so I'm very familiar with them. I think you're going to have a lot of rust in this game. I just don't think you're going to see – I think you'll have to see deeper rotations. Um, these teams like to play up-tempo. I like the under in this one, under 237. This is a huge total, and I know both of these teams can really fly up and down the court, but I think you're going to see a lot of bricks early, and I think this game goes under. I know we have some experts on the over today, so I know it's kind of a contrarian play, but I, I just think first game back, both of the games tonight I'm thinking under. So, uh, But this is the stronger of the two, under 237, four-and-a-half star play okay last game last college basketball game notre dame versus unc notre dame was our best bet play yesterday of course it came up way short they played for basically 10 minutes of the game i mean i know they played for all 40 minutes but they only put in the high octane effort that you need to win games the last uh, eight to ten minutes and they did pull out last second win uh beating a really bad wake forest team but i mean wake forest had notre dame down 10 most of the game the defense of notre dame has been a problem most of the season I think that's going to be the problem tonight. UNC favored by six and a half, total 150. I like the over. Uh, North Carolina loves to play up and down. Um, Notre Dame likes to play up and down. Uh, the last four games or five games from Notre Dame all have gone over, and I mean in big fashion. I like over 150 in this one uh, for my last hoops play of the day. Of course, for the fifth play, always we go to the uh, consensus report. We'll do that here in a second. But if you haven't done so, make sure you hit that thumbs up and share, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, but most importantly, put in the comments who you like. That's what we, we uh, want to see. Uh, Elliot had three. NHL was good to him. A six-teamer and one. He had three OT wins, it says. Three OT wins. That's sleeping. Uh, we had Bruins as our consensus play yesterday and lost in overtime. So, hey, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose on those. Uh, sh- it was a shootout, actually, in that one, I believe. The consensus, okay, we're going to go to the Spurs at the Mavs. We have four handicappers out of five, I believe. Let's make sure that's still the case. Um, four out of five on the Spurs tonight. Yeah, so 80, 80% consensus on the Spurs plus four. Total is 223 in that one. We're going to take the Spurs plus four, four out of five, liking the Spurs in that one. So that's the consensus free. Clay, don't forget, get my best bet, picksandparlays.net backslash Craig. Best bet is in college hoops tonight. We get off to Schneid after three straight losing days. Still, I think it's 22 and seven. Uh, 15 and, um, sorry, 15 and seven the last 22 days. 15 and seven the last 22 days, even with the last two, uh, three days of losing picks. So we get back at it tonight. 15 and seven run. And you can get that for just $14.99. It's in the description. Pick some parlays.net backslash Craig. Single best bet is in college basketball. And then, of course, at that same link, you can uh, purchase my subscription for just 89 bucks. We also have the two cappers for one March Madness specials at that same link. So you can get my plays and somebody else or just pick out the two cappers you like. I believe it's $2.99. Let me tell you for sure. So, but make sure if you haven't done so, you get in on our get on my best bet. We get back at the winners today. $2.99 gets you your favorite two experts. Make sure you check that out. All right, guys, uh, recap real quick here. As always, I give out the, re- the when I give them out the first time, that's in the order of the games, unless I mess that up. Then uh, when I do the recap, I do it in the order I like the games for today. So four and a half star play, I like the over 150 in UNC and Notre Dame in the ACC. I just think Notre Dame's defense is terrible. I think this game goes way over. Four and a half star play, Wizards at the Grizzlies, under 237. I'm playing under in both the games tonight, but this is a, in the NBA. This is the stronger of those two. Uh, I did a full bet recap on the Spurs and the Mavs uh, at YouTube, so make sure you check that out. Uh, Kansas State versus TCU. Uh, TCU minus three. That's a four and a half star play. Uh, four star play, sorry. The other, the first two were four and a half star play, if I didn't say so. Marquette versus Georgetown. Georgetown plus three four-star play. And then the consensus for the night, Spurs plus the four at the Mavs, four to one on the consensus. So that's what I like for tonight. Don't forget, give us a uh, thumbs up and put in the comments who you like. And uh, I'm going to give a bonus play. As Chris reminded me, I'm going to give a bonus play on the Syracuse game. This game goes at noon Eastern Standard Time. And one of the things you you, you basically bet, if you just would have bet this all year long, if you faded uh, Syracuse on the road, you would have been money this year and played them in the short numbers at home. You'd have done really, really well. Now we see neutral site games. So 
kind of throw those numbers out. Um, I think this is going to be a really, really good matchup. Syracuse uh, minus two and a half point favorite, total 146 and a half. I kind of think the over here. I just think both of these teams um, will be able to do enough. I, I was thinking both teams get into the 75s. Um, so I was thinking the over. So that's what I'm going to bet early. Like I said, not an official play, not one of my official five plays. Definitely didn't give it out. But uh, if you like to get in on the early action, I'm going to be on the over. So, all right. So get my best bet today. Pick some parlays.net backslash Craig. Link is in the description, or you can type that in. Uh, that saves you 25 bucks, just $14.99. Or the subscription, it's $90 off at that, at that uh, same link, 89 bucks for a week. All right, guys. Have a great day. And we'll see you again on Thursday.